What's happening, people? Josh from EverydayFBA.com, and I've done more than a few online arbitrage guides for beginners, right? A couple of these videos have done really, really well, getting thousands and thousands of views, but I haven't showed you the process that I would personally do if I were to start out as an online arbitrage beginner right now, today. I'm gonna show you that process inside this video, and it's perfectly suited for Amazon beginners to just start dipping their toe into the online arbitrage game. Let's get it started. All right, my people, I promise you this is not gonna be a long drawn out video. We're just gonna get straight into it and to the point. This is a perfect method for beginners because you're gonna be able to target those retail arbitrage products and those retail arbitrage sellers. You're gonna be able to go down to your local Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Trader Joe's, Costco, Sam's Club, wherever, and buy these products right off the shelf and start shipping it into Amazon to try to get that profit. And this is how you do it using very minimal tools. If you're doing online arbitrage, the first tool you need is Keepa. Keepa is where we're going to start our search. One of the hardest parts about being a brand new seller on Amazon is finding products that you can actually sell. But what we're going to do here with Keepa is we're going to find sellers that may be a little bit ahead of us, you know, a couple of months ahead of us. Maybe they've already done research. They have some products that are selling well. We're going to take cues from them. So we're in here in Keepa under the data tab and we're going to go into the product finder. And this page right here, definitely spend some time getting uh, acquainted with if you are a brand new Amazon seller. This can really help you narrow down products that you can or can't or will or won't sell, right? And give you ideas and rabbit holes to go through. What we're gonna do with it right now is we're gonna start looking at specific brands. These are store brands and I kind of just created up a little list here. I did some searching online and found a bunch of different store brands. So I'm gonna take this list right here and plug it into this section right here. And it's gonna find those brands for for me. So if I put CVS, you got CVS, CVS Farm, CVS Health. Uh, you can do the same with Walgreens, Costco, Trader Joe's, right? So I'm just going to go through here and start selecting some of these, punching them in, and we'll get a total of products here pretty soon. So let me just load all these up and I'll be back. All right, check it out. We landed with a little bit over 40,000 products, 40,000 possible online arbitrage, retail arbitrage opportunities for you to go out there and get started. Now we can look at every single one of these products and start trying to find profit opportunities or we can look at who is selling these products, right? Because we're not necessarily concerned with selling this exact product. There might be other products in this seller's store that we could also sell. So let's start checking out some of these sellers and we'll just pick one here, a little online store. Let's pop it open. The tool that we're gonna to use to analyze these deals is gonna be called Seller Amp. Let me just click it right here. It's gonna pop open. It's gonna analyze this storefront for us. It's gonna give us the name, the uh, seller ID, how many ASINs they have in stock, what brands they have and what categories they have. So we all know about Kirkland Signature, right? That's one of those that was included in my Keepa uh, list, right? But what about these other ones? These are other brands that you can now look through to see if you could find profitable items located near you that you can just go and pick up. If you are ungated in health and household, definitely come and check out this or baby products or whatever. You can get category specific with it and focus on those categories that you are ungated in. You can also open this up in full screen here and we can start going through their products and seeing whether or not there's any interest in them. It's got the keep a chart right here, which is nice to have. It's got the BSR, the max cost. So in your settings, you can set your minimum ROI and your minimum profit and it'll calculate what the max cost should be in order for you to achieve that minimum profit amount. That's very, very helpful. I think if I think that I can find this product for less than $13.43, I'll definitely go over here, click on the Google Google shopping button, click on the Google search button and see if I can go, or of course this is Kirkland Signature, I'll go straight to Costco and see how much it costs myself. But you can start to go through all their products, look for products like this where Amazon isn't selling on it, it doesn't show Amazon, this one shows Amazon here, look for products, you get a breakdown of the information and you can attempt to find it online for profit and we can just load all their, all their products that they have in their store and just look and look and look. Now guys, this is the long approach. You know, you're gonna have to go through here and you're gonna have to investigate these products, right? But this is how you get started doing some online arbitrage very, very easily and very, very cheaply, right? You can get a uh, Keepa and a uh, Seller Amp, I think for less than $50 a month. Just use these tools for a few months, hone your skills, 
as an online arbitrage entrepreneur. And I promise you, you'll get better at it. You'll find more products. You'll open up more products, right? You'll get ungated, unrestricted. You'll find more products to sell, but this is how you can absolutely get started. Before you go, guys, I did want to show you how to automate this process just a little bit. So if you don't want to go through here and scroll through every single product, there's another tool that you could use, but it's more advanced and it's going to cost you a little bit more money every single month. That tool is called Tactical Arbitrage, but Tactical Arbitrage will help you find products. For instance, if I just wanted to search this store, I can take their seller ID, copy that, head over to Tactical Arbitrage, go to the reverse search, and we can quickly look at this exact seller. I'll just paste in that seller's name and I'll hit search and Tactical Arbitrage is gonna pull all of their ASINs and then see if they could find that product at their hundreds and hundreds of different websites and see if it has any profit in it. Now again, this is kind of the advanced way. There's a lot more that you can do with Tactical Arbitrage. I've got a ton of tutorials that you can look at, but basically really to get started doing online arbitrage, Keepa, and seller amp is definitely what i would recommend if you want to go and grab those softwares there's links in the description and probably in that first comment please do that they help support the channel and keep me creating content for online arbitrage beginners just like you my name is josh everydayfba.com is the website and i'll catch you guys on that next video peace